rawstatus.com. We are back. Raw Status TV YouTube, the Raw Status Instagram, the Raw Status Twitter. Find us, follow us, friend us, like us, subscribe, comment, and share. Raw Status TV, welcome back in. Don't forget to smash that like button. Gonna give you my thoughts on the NBA playoffs and what transpired this weekend. First and foremost, we have the Brooklyn Nets going home early, losing to the Milwaukee Bucks. A very tough series, very entertaining series. Uh, a very good game seven went into overtime, and I just kind of had the feeling all year and all throughout this series that Brooklyn just wasn't it. It's like the talent level was there. I guess, although their bench was suspect, uh, their defense got a little bit better in the playoffs, but still left something to be desired. But now here's the question that's kind of been floating around in the media, on social media, Kevin Durant. Best player in the league? Kevin Durant. Can he carry the team like a great, a goat should? Look, Durant had some amazing games in this series, in particular game five. Awesome player, very talented but what's good for the goose, you know who, in particular, LeBron, if you can criticize him for not being able to win with a depleted team in 2014, if you can criticize him for not being able to play one on five and play with subpar teammates in comparison to other teams and not get the job done, then the same must go for Kevin Durant. But of course, you're not going to hear that because we all know why, like we've discussed on this channel, the shenanigans and the agenda driven political based media stories that are created in the media. Um, Durant flat out did not get the job done. Airballed a last second shot. Um, and people tend to forget before. Before uh, James Harden came back, came back from injury. That one game where it was just Durant, he fizzled out, was unable to carry the team. So where do the Nets go from here? That's a good question. Phoenix and the Clippers, another interesting game. Um, this series can go either way. Uh, I don't know what's going to happen. I, I, I don't really care particularly for either team. I don't really care if either wins, but... I think the Suns could actually pull off the upset here, especially if Kawhi Leonard is not coming back, which is looking iffy. It's looking doubtful. The Clippers losing game one was big. Um, and again, the same criticism isn't there. But like I said before, we all know the deal. But what's going to happen in this series? This is going to be a defensive battle. This is going to be a three-point battle. Um, I think that the Clippers are technically the deeper team, but... They have some injuries again, and Phoenix Phoenix so far has played depleted and injury-plagued teams, starting with the Lakers. So I'm not really sure what they are either. Um, But this is going to be probably the best series left to watch. Atlanta and Milwaukee, I see, I see Milwaukee taking care of them probably in less than seven games, probably six games. But the team coming out of the... East right now will definitely be the weaker team. Milwaukee. Watching that Brooklyn game was very frustrating. Milwaukee kept on making rookie mistakes, putting themselves in harm's way. I think they could have taken care of that series a lot quicker if they had the correct coaching like's been like has been pointed out throughout social media. And we're gonna see. It's interesting to see who comes out of the West. It's also gonna be interesting to see the excuse train pull off from the station when it comes to defending either the Clippers or the Nets, if neither one of them make it to the finals. The whole thing is pretty comical. Leave your comments in the box and let me know what you think. This is Raw Status TV.